Welcome to Yonder Dynamics. We are a student-run robotics organization at the University of California, San Diego, and we are competing in the 2020 University Rover Challenge. In this video, we will detail the design and demonstrate the capabilities of our new rover. For the science mission, our team has designed a modular drilling system consisting of a 2-inch auger mounted on a linear track actuator. The drill and auger are tested on hard rocky soil to stimulate MDRS conditions. The soil flows out of the top of the auger and it's collected in the sample cups in the carousel. The sample carousel uses a servo motor to cycle through each of the collection cups, allowing us to sample six locations at a time. To test for extant life, the cups are preloaded with a nutrient broth to stimulate microbial growth. Arduino turbidity sensors are attached to the bottom of each cup to measure the turbidity over time. We're employing an onboard Ramont spectrometer to look for trace signatures of coronoids in our samples. Due to Mars's lack of magnetosphere, life on Mars must have developed resistances to high levels of solar and cosmic radiation. Coronoids have been theorized to be a byproduct of cyanobacteria radiation shielding and repair mechanisms. So evidence of coronoids in a sample might be an indication of extinct Martian life. I'm Brian Pack, I'm the ARM team lead. This year, we've optimized our ARM design for performance in the Orsi missions. This includes large improvements to the range of motion in both the arm and shoulder joints, as well as a complete redesign of the hand. By using 3D printed material for much of the hand and wrist, we were able to make quick changes to the design and have tested various finger shapes to increase grip strength. Hi, my name is Justin. I'm on the motion team for Yonder Dynamics. The suspension of the rover is a rocker bogey system with the new 1 5th scale RC car rear shock absorbers to allow a traversal of steep slopes. There's a camera attached to the arm to facilitate the equipment servicing and the retrieval tasks, and one camera is attached to the front of the rover for navigation. Each rubber tire is powered by a geared down 775 Pro motor with an output of 106 Newton millimeters each allowing it to get through sandy and rocky terrain. The chassis is made of lightweight carbon fiber and 6061 aluminum tubing, and the arm is a combination of carbon fiber tubing, delrin, and machined aluminum parts, ensuring proper resilience for MDRS conditions while remaining under the weight limit. I'm Shay Sinarati, and I'm an engineer for the software team at Yonder Dynamics. We rebuilt our software stock from the ground up with a focus on robustness, usability, and safety. Controls are smooth, intuitive, and accessible through a web interface that enables any member of the team to use the rover and monitor the onboard systems. We incorporate magic filtering to fuse our sensor data for autonomous navigation and path following. We have trained and utilized our own TensorFlow RCNN model for AR tag detection and tested it with over 7,000 augmentations. Our exploration stack has been trialed in an immersive ROS gazebo simulation of the URC environment. We capture depth maps through a Z stereo camera and run our live SLAM methods on an NVIDIA Xavier. We are currently working towards completing an inverse kinematics model for a more precise control of the arm. We have updated our systems from last year to improve reliability and have extensively tested our new systems. Our new system separates 5-volt and 12-volt electronics onto two layers to improve safety and organization. Several redundant systems to monitor battery voltages have been added to ensure visibility of the rover status. For communication, we have successfully tested our antenna up to one kilometer away. Finally, to cap it all off, we have developed protocols for preparation, startup, and shutdown to allow anyone to efficiently service the rover. We hope you've enjoyed seeing what our new rover can do. Thank you for watching, and we hope to see you at the 2020 URC.